Roman numerals. Although Roman numerals are not part of most math curriculums today, they are good to know. Roman numerals are seen in textbooks, football games, analog clocks, and other places. In this number system, letters are used instead of numbers. The letters represent a value. I equals one. V equals five. X equals ten. L equals fifty. C equals one hundred. D equals five hundred. M equals one thousand. Zero does not exist in Roman numerals. There are the seven Roman numerals you should know. Before we begin, notice that there isn't a letter for the number zero. The idea of zero does not exist in Roman numerals. Rules of writing Roman numerals. When writing Roman numerals with more than one letter, follow these rules. Let's look at the first rule. Rule th one: If the larger value is written first, followed by the smaller value, then add the values. Let's look at how we would write the number six. The Roman numeral for six is V I. V equals five. I Equals one. V is the greater value. I is the lesser value. V is the greater value. It equals five. It is written first. I follows the V because it has a smaller value than five. Add them together to get six. V I equals six. Rule two. Let's look at the second rule. If the smaller value is written first, followed by the larger value, then subtract the values. Let's look at how we would write the number four. The Roman numeral for four is. I V. I equals one. V equals five. I is the lesser value. V is the greater value. I is the smaller value. Equals one. It is written first. V follows the I. Because it has a greater value than one, subtract them to get four. Rule three. Another rule to remember is that the capital letters I, X, C, and M are the only letters that can repeat. You cannot write the number one hundred with two capital L's. L cannot be repeated because it is not one of the four letters we discussed. Rule four. Finally, do not allow any of these four letters to repeat more than three times in a row. In these two examples, the capital I is repeated three times. This is how we create the numbers eight and thirteen. Remember, I is the smaller value, so it goes after the V and X.